Hello, dear friends. My name is Piggy Peppa, and today we have a very important task with George. We have to get resources from the mine. Yeah. Hey, guys, today we have a lot of resources to gather in this mine. I think we're going to find coal, iron, and maybe even some real diamonds. That would be great. I'd love a new full set of diamond tools. Hopefully, there won't be anything dangerous in this mine, and we'll just take the resources and leave quietly. But something tells me we might run into someone anyway. So be careful, George, and pay attention. Look at all the different resources we have here. Let's gather everything we can. It's just incredible. You're really rich. You could say there's a full mine here, and there's a lot of stuff. Let's go forward a little bit and see if there are any real diamonds in here somewhere. So good at not picking up coal. I think it was still iron in here. Hey, what are you looking at? Wow, are those creepers? Well, wait, let's proceed with caution. They don't seem to see us. That means we have a chance to attack them quietly. But they're acting strange. Maybe they're looking for something or they're on some kind of mission. I don't know. Usually they walk around with no purpose, but here they're looking for something. Okay, whatever teaching, we have to attack them and defeat them. Yeah, well, it looks like we've got it. Yeah, well, we were able to handle them, and even they didn't notice us. That's just incredibly lucky. Well, let's better get out of here before their friends find out they're no longer alive. To be honest, I didn't even expect it to be this dangerous. But it really must be. Maybe they really were sent on some kind of mission here in the mine to us. I don't know, Peppa. And apparently we'll never know again. Well... I guess we can go now and melt down the Tarunda that I have and also the Tarunda that I collected and go to the market. Maybe we can sell it even at a bargain price. Boss, look. They seem to be leaving the house. They are the ones who killed our brothers in the mine. On your mission, they went there looking for a very ancient artifact. But apparently, they were able to defeat them. These two little pigs. And now it looks like they're going somewhere. We need to wait for them to get out of here, and then we can avenge our brothers. You got my thoughts right. We have to destroy their house completely so that they never even come close to us again. I can't believe these guys didn't even attack them first. Why did they kill them? Why would they kill them? Okay, he won't answer for his crimes. We totally blow up their house. They're not going to expect that. I've already put in a lot of dynamite. I think I need to add a little more, and we can finally blow it up. There won't be a piece of the house left. I should go in and maybe add some dynamite to the house too. Yeah, great. I think there's already a lot of it in here, and the explosion is going to be unbelievably huge. It's not easy. Boss, let's watch the explosion. Yeah, great. Look at this. The whole house is just going to blow up. It's unbelievable, the whole place just blew up. They can't live in this house anymore. They'll have to move somewhere else, which means we finally got to avenge our boys. Now let's ambush those piggies. They certainly won't be expecting it. So great, like we sold all the iron we had and oh no, look what happened to our house. I just can't believe it. It's all blown up, there's practically nothing left of it, just one field and that's it. I can't believe it. We've only been away for a little while, but it's completely blown up. Who would do that? And most importantly, why did we deserve to have our house blown up? Peppa, I don't know who would do this either. Someone must be hunting us down. He's not. Look, there's a giant creeper. Let's get out of here. Looks like it has something to do with those creepers in the cave. Maybe it's their boss or something. And now he's really pissed that we killed them. It's more like we need to go some time to get away from him. This cave seems like the perfect place. Thank goodness we were able to get away from him. And it seems that this place will be just right for building our shelter. Let's not waste time. He is very fast and he can catch up with us very easily. So we need to urgently build a shelter. The main thing is that it should be protected completely from explosions because they have 1,000 dynamite. They can detonate very easily, but we have to stop them. I'm sure we'll build a shelter that they won't even be able to blow up, and then we'll be able to talk to them in their language and fight back. Peppa, I can't believe it. 
Apparently they were really looking for something in that mine. Maybe they had something of value down there. But we had no way of knowing about it at all. We just saw the clippers and attacked them in self-defense. It wasn't any kind of aggression on our part. They don't seem to understand humanity, so we're gonna have to talk bad to them. And that's best done when you're in the most secure shelter in the world, which is exactly what we're building right now. Don't worry. From the way our shelter is working out, it looks pretty great and no one is going to get in here. I'm pretty sure of that. I have another little idea. I'll put an electric fence around the edge of the roof. That way, they can't even climb up here. And we'll have a full view from here, so we can look around and see if they're coming. But so far, thank God, there is no one, which means that we have a little more time to complete the shelter. All I have to do is finish the fence here and we can start taking shifts to see if we're under attack. We need to be on the lookout. So I'm almost done. Let's get together, George. He no Peppa! They look like they came and just look at the horror they've done here. I guess we have no choice but to go and talk to them. Creepers, I have an official message for you. If you don't get out of here right now, we're gonna have to blow you up. They don't understand nicely, so you have one last chance to get out of here. Well, apparently you don't want to take it, so we're gonna have to beat you. Okay, George! We gave them a chance, but now there's no time. Let's blow them up. Yeah, great! Let's fire at them! We have to blow up their main kill, and that's fine! I think we've done it. Phew, thank God we managed to destroy him. Let's finish the rest of them so they don't come here at all and hurry back to the shelter. Papa, it was unbelievable. I can't believe we were able to fight them off. There were so many of them, and they could have easily blown up our new shelter. But thank goodness we did well, and they left. Now apparently, we have no choice but to go back to the house and rebuild it. But I'm sure we can handle this task very easily too, and we won't have any problems. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Put likes, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, but we will definitely see you again in the next videos. Goodbye and good mood. Hi everyone, today we are going to play Minecraft with my family. <laughs> I also like to play Minecraft. Oh look, Mummy and Puppy. They are probably looking for us. Let's go to them. Hi, kids. Hello, cat. We're finally going to play Minecraft. Yes, it's great. I can't wait. Let's explore this amazing game. Sunset. We need to find beds now. Good idea, puppy. Let's go. Children, I made beds for you. Wow. <laughs> it's time for bed, little cat. Am I on my way to bed, mommy? We survived the first night. Let's build boats and sail to the other island. We need wood for boats. Let's chop wood. <laughs> this island is deserted. Hopefully we will get to a safe place. Need to find food in a cave. Let's go. We found the cave. Don't go any farther, George. It'll help you come to me. Stretch, George, stretch.
Well done, George. We found a cave we could take a little break. Make myself some tools and get some stone. Well, Daddy, you found the idol. Yeah, found some. I'm going to go find food. Mommy, where are you? <laughs> Good wretch. They all struck me. Where they are, they'll figure it out. Daddy, they're coming for me. Better we'll save us. Thank you, Dad. We found the village. There's food in the village. Let's eat now. You ate it. It's time to make a home. This place will be good for us. Here's a great place. I want to build a house, too, with George. Tight. That's the house we got. Well, not bad. Peppa and George, you did a great job. See what's inside. Kisses. It took me a long time to plan the interior and I didn't know where to put this bed. George helped me. Let's go look at her. Okay. What is your house? Peppa, can you help? We need to build a ladder to the second floor. You either forgot to place it. Okay. Finished. Thank you, Peppa. We need obsidian for the portal to help. Let's go! We could use the other door. George found diamonds for the Picasso. Where? Now we can mine up city. Steal the water, he'll get it. The portal is ready. We can go to her. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We found all the sticks. way to go.
little bit to play today. Hello everyone, today I will play the wonderful game of Minecraft with my family. Hello, oh the wonderful world of Minecraft. Every time I come in it's like the first time. Very interesting game. Hey kids, we're here to play again. It's a beautiful day when we play Minecraft. <laughs> if everyone wants to play so badly, let's get started. Alright, let's get started. Oh yeah, here we go. So first we need to create a server. Game mode survival. Difficulty normal, we do not need a hard difficulty. We are not playing in Minecraft to fight endlessly with a huge number of monsters. Peppa, we've played so much Minecraft already. We have a lot of experience. Let's play on hard next time. Daddy, you're right. We're already good at a lot of things, and together we're strong. All right. Next time we play hard difficulty. I came into the world. You're here? I'm already here. I'm looking around. Oops. Of course I'm already on the server. I'm about to get my first tree. <laughs> Dolphin, let's talk about something. How do we spend today after Minecraft? I think we can go for a walk in the park today. It's such a beautiful day outside. That sounds wonderful. How about we gather around the table and have a family breakfast first before the walk? Oh yes! I love our family breakfasts. Let's make scrambled eggs with bacon and fresh fruit. <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. Also, let's do yoga together after breakfast. It will help us be more relaxed and ready for the adventures of everyday life. Yoga is a great idea, honey. Let's start with some simple stretching exercises. I'm sure Peppa and George will get into them too. I'm already looking forward to doing yoga. And after that, we can go to the park and ride the swings and roll down the slide. That's right, Peppa. Let's have fun. Besides that, we have a few other things to do in town today. After the park, we can go to the supermarket to buy groceries and visit the children's toy store. Yay! I got a new watering can. And I'll be able to water the flowers myself. I'm so happy we have so many fun things to do. Minecraft, a walk in the park. It's so exciting. And we're happy to share these moments with you, Peppa. I love you so much. We love you and George too. You are our precious family. <laughs> I have stone tools coming soon already. How are you all doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I made myself a pickaxe and now I'll be mining stone too. We're all at the same stage. That's great. <laughs> uh-huh. Stone pickaxe. Now I need an axe to chop wood faster, a hoe to grow something, and a shovel to dig fast. Daddy, I have a question. Why do you have so many tools in the garage? Well, Peppa, tools are very useful. You can do a lot of things with them. For example, I use a hammer to beat nails into wood. And I love sawing wood. I use the saw to create different shapes and products. Wow, so you know how to make furniture? Yes, Peppa. We even made a closet for your room with all those tools. Sounds interesting. What else can you do with tools? You can use a screwdriver to tighten nuts and bolts. And there are also brushes and paints to draw and color different objects. And I like to play music. What instruments do we have for that? We have flute, guitar, and even drums. We can make a real orchestra together. <laughs> yes, Peppa. Tools help you have fun and create new things. They are very useful and fun. Great! Let's play a concert together sometime with a variety of instruments. Peppa, is everything okay? What's wrong? It's okay. I'm not hurt. The creeper came right up behind me. It exploded and I don't know how, but I didn't take much damage. Be careful, Peppa. Creepers are just waiting for you to relax. You can't close your eyes for a second. I'll be careful now. He really scared me. Oh, my baby. Scared of the creeper. Let me walk with you. I'm not feeling comfortable with you getting into this situation again. It's fine, mommy. I'll be fine. It's good that you're confident. But as soon as it's dangerous, call us. We'll be there in a second. All right. Thanks, Daddy. What do you want to do now? I don't know. I like to just walk around and explore the colorful landscape of Minecraft. It's all so beautiful. Trees, flowers, huge mountains. I wish I could find some lovely biomes. You know, I found one here. Jungle biome. There's a lot of tall trees. Wow, I found a couple pandas. They're massive. Did you know that pandas are the oldest bears on the planet? Whoa, is that true? I didn't know. The big panda is an ancient member of the bear family and may even be the ancestor of modern bears. Wow! <laughs> oh, bears are very interesting creatures. They are so big and strong. Indeed, bears are some of the most powerful animals. They can run very fast and have huge strength. I've heard that bears have very good hearing and sense of smell. They can find food many kilometers away. Wow, there are so many different residents here. Now I got a cute parrot. He's so colorful and beautiful. Birdie, I like those a lot. It's so entertaining to listen to them. Sometimes they can repeat human speech. They're so smart. Peppa, I'm sorry to say that, but really they're just repeating what they hear. 
They don't know how to have a meaningful dialogue, but it's true. For their size, some parrots can be very intelligent. They can easily solve puzzles for small children. Thanks, Daddy. It's always interesting to learn more about animals and the world around us. I'm happy to tell you everything I know. <laughs> I'm thinking of making myself a little vegetable garden. Is that a good idea? Your own vegetable garden, hmm? You'll have food, isn't that wonderful? That's all great, of course. But it's gonna take a long time to grow. You could starve to death 100 times over. If you plant a lot of seeds, and it would be great if you have bone meal to increase growth, then it makes sense. Thanks, Daddy. I'll plant a lot of seeds then. I have some food I can wait for them to grow. In the jungle, I found watermelons. Wow, I don't have any food. How lucky I am, I'm so hungry. Good for you, Peppa. There are lots of watermelons in the jungle. Look hard, you'll find a huge pile of watermelons. George, are you okay? <laughs> George seems to be doing fine, I'm glad. Have you built your houses yet? I'm not quite ready for a house. Yeah, I think it's time to build, but I've got a lot more wood to get. I agree, let's build different houses and see how we do. Maybe we'll all have the same house that looks like a box. Ha 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 ha! Ha That's probably what's going to happen. Not that I know how to build houses. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. <laughs> Let's talk about our favorite houses. I think my favorite house is our pig house. We have so much fun here. Oh, of course, dear. Our house is very cozy and warm. I love its spacious living room where we can spend time together and play our favorite games. Yes, and I love our house too. I especially love our beautiful kitchen where I cook delicious meals for our family. And we all know how much I love to cook. I also love our room. I have so many toys and books in there. Sometimes I even invite my friends over to play. Yes, your room is really wonderful. But let's not forget about our garden. We spend so much time there gardening and playing outdoors with the kids. And of course, we cannot forget about our cozy veranda. There we can relax and enjoy a cup of tea while admiring our wonderful garden. I think we have the best house ever. <laughs> Absolutely right, dear. We are very happy to have such a wonderful home where we can create beautiful memories together playing Minecraft. Ouch! What's wrong, honey? Nothing. It's just a walking creeper exploded in the water near my house. Is everything okay with the house? It's fine. I'll finish it. I built my house. How are you doing? I'm finishing up with mine. It's done. I'm ready. George, you good? <laughs> oh, that's great! Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and like. And don't forget to comment what kind of video you would like to see. Bye, everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. We had a great time. Thank you, kids, for watching. Bye, everyone. Welcome to the world of Minecraft. Here we will meet Peppa, George, and their funny parents. Hi, Peppa. Hi, George. What do you want to do today? I want to build a house today where we can all live together. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's start making a world. Let's rename the name of our world the Big Family. And I suggest changing the difficulty mode to high, because it will be much more interesting to survive. Peppa's a good idea. It's really more fun that way. <laughs> Parents, where are you? I'm somewhere in the woods. Let's get resources for our house. Mom, you start building the house. Well, I'll start building a house in the meantime. <laughs> so, I'm gonna start getting wood, and what are you gonna do, Dad? Peppa, I'm getting wood too, and what's our favorite George doing? <laughs> George, are you okay? What are you doing? <laughs> Mom, how are you doing? Have you started building our house yet? Peppa, I've already started building a house, and you guys get wood, stone, and food. Okay, Mom, I'll get the wood, then I'll make my own tools. Me too. <laughs> you guys are doing a good job. Keep it up. I'm so glad we're all here to play again. It's so much fun and exciting. Peppa, I'm very happy too. Kids, I'm so glad we can spend time together in Minecraft, by the way. Do you like playing this game? Would you like to try playing Roblox? I think it's not a bad idea. There's a lot of different modes and we'll find something for us. I would also play Roblox. There is my favorite mode Evade, by the way. Not long ago, I saw how Sonic Tails Raider Skay played Evade. I really liked their video. I suggest you watch if you have not seen it. <laughs> so I've already made a workbench. Now I'm going to make an axe and get wood faster. How's it going, Daddy? I also made a workbench, but I will first get a stone to make my own stone tools. How are you guys doing? What are you doing? I'm building a house. Let's hurry up and get the materials. 
<laughs> Mommy, we're getting supplies for the house as best we can. How's the house going? Peppa, I'm building the house slowly. I hope I can finish it by nightfall, or the hostile creatures will attack us. Mom, don't worry. You'll have the house finished by nightfall, but if you don't, I'll protect you. I have no doubt you'll protect us. We're behind you like a stone wall, but I'd still like to finish the house by nightfall. <laughs> I'm still getting firewood. How much firewood do I need? Honestly, I'm just tired of getting firewood. Peppa, we need a lot of firewood. The house won't build itself. Mom, that's right, Peppa. Don't be lazy and get as much wood as you can. Okay, Dad. I'll get the wood as fast as I can. By the way, how's everybody doing? I'm stable. I'm building a house for us to sleep in and put resources in chess. I think we can also put beds to grow food, but that's for later. Mama Pig, that's a very good idea because the beds are food on a regular basis. And I'm doing well. I'm off to find a stone for stone tools. This is very good because with stone tools you will extract resources much faster than with wooden tools. Peppa, what are you doing right now? I made a wooden pickaxe. Now I will get a stone and make stone tools. By the way, do not forget to get food. I didn't forget, Peppa. I'm on my way to the mine to get food. By the way, Peppa, that's good about the food because there's four of us. We need a lot of food. <laughs> I finally found a stone. Now I'm gonna get it and scrap some stone tools. Yay, Peppa, now you will mine resources twice as fast. How is our daddy? Has he already made stone tools? Mama Pig, I'm still getting food, so we'll always be fed. I'm taking care of you. Peppa, did you make your stone tools yet? I'm almost done crafting stone tools, but there's still coal here. Now I'll get the stone, and then I'll craft a stone pickaxe and get the coal. How's it going, Mama Pig? Did you finish the house yet? I'm finishing the floor now, and then I'll start building the walls. The house will be ready soon. Don't worry. Mom, hurry up and finish the house. George and I can't wait to see it. We're sure it's going to be big and beautiful. <laughs> yes, Mama Pig. The kids are right. You need to hurry up with the house construction. It will be getting dark pretty soon, and we don't have a shelter yet. Yeah, Mommy, Daddy's right. It's going to be dark soon. George and I need a place to sleep. Family, don't worry. I'll have the house finished by tonight. I'm sure of it. Okay, Mama Pig, we're really hoping for you. Yeah, Mom, we believe in you. We know you won't let us down. Thank you, family, for your support. I love you so much. By the way, what are you doing now? Are you doing okay? I'm doing well. I've got enough food. The cow led me into a cave. It's good for me. I'll get a stone here. <laughs> Daddy, you must be lucky. Here I am, finally scraping my stone pickaxe. Now I'm going to get coal and stone, and then I'm going to scrape a stone axe to get as much wood as possible. Ah ha ha ha, thanks, Peppa. By the way, it's a good idea. Good luck. Yes, Peppa. It's a really good idea. We believe in you, so keep it up. Thank you, my favorite parents. I love you very much, by the way, what you do. Well, I've already finished the floor. I just have to build the walls, the roof, and put the beds with the chests. And how is our daddy pig? Thank you for asking, my beloved family. I got myself three stones. Now I will scrub up my stone picker and I will continue to extract stone. Daddy, this is a really good idea, but what are you going to do after you get the stone? Peppa, I think I'll put the stove on and fry the meat because I'm hungry. <laughs> Daddy's pig, you're always just eating a ha ha. Ah ha 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 ha, mom, you're right as always. Daddy really loves to eat. So come on, I don't like this conversation. Better tell me what you're doing. At the moment, I'm mining coal. Now I'll take the workbench and go extract sand for glass. Peppa's a good idea. We could use some glass for our house, and I've just started building walls in our pretty little house. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm getting the stone for the stove in the house, so what else can I do? Well, Daddy Pig, keep digging for the stone we'll really need. Mom, how are you doing? How's our house? Peppa, I'm doing great, but I'm not tired of building a house. Now I'm building a doorway. And how are you and George doing? I'm fine too. Now I'm looking for a sandy beach. George, how are you? It's been a while since I've heard from you. <laughs> Here comes the voice of our beloved son. And I finally scrambled the stove to fry the meat. I'm so glad. Good daddy, I'm happy for you. And I think I see the sand. Good Peppa, start digging for sand. It will be very useful to us. I did not doubt you. Thanks, Mommy. I'm gonna go get some sand, Dad. What are you doing? I put the stove on and I'm about to fry the chicken and I think it's gonna be really good, don't you think? <laughs> ah, ha, 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 Daddy. Of course it'll taste good. You made it. Peppa, you're right. Dad's food is always delicious and I'm almost done building walls. Only left to put glass. How's it going with the pepper sand? Mommy, I'm gonna get a little bit of stone to fry the meat and scrape the rock shovel. And then I'm gonna start digging for sand, okay? All right, well, I'll start putting up the windows. The house is almost finished. How's Daddy and George doing? <laughs> I scrambled a stone sword to protect myself from a hostile mob, and I finally prepared meat. I'm very glad. 
Good daddy, you're doing great. Keep it up, we're doing great and mom's doing great. She's been building this house all day by herself. Thanks, Peppa. Very nice to hear. You're all very well too. Thank you all. Family, it's almost the end of the series. We'll have to say goodbye soon. Say goodbye so fast. I haven't even built a house yet. I don't want to say goodbye. I want to play with my family again. Don't worry, Mom. We'll wait for you to finish the house. We really want to see it. <laughs> George seems to have found a rabbit, George. Be careful with it, see if it bites you. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is really very nice, Daddy. Mom, how are things with our house? You still have a long time? I really want to see it. Peppa, I'm going as fast as I can. There's just a little bit left and the house will be ready. So family, let's say goodbye to the audience. Friends, thank you all for watching. We are very pleased that you are watching our videos to the very end. Do not forget to leave comments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye, everybody. In this video, family, why is my house collapsing? Leaves fall out. Did I do something wrong? I don't like it. Peppa, you probably started it wrong, and now all the leaves will fall out. You need to find a new place to build a house. <laughs> But this white quartz is a really fresh color, and it fills even a cheerful mood. So you can add a little dirt here, it's a beautiful house. So I think this is where the head of the village will live. Wow, George, that's a beautiful well you've made, but it's a little mossy. And hello everyone! Dear friends, today you have Peppa and George with you again, and we were passing by a village, and we decided to ask the locals how they rate their place of residence, and guess what they said? They don't like the current houses at all. Just look at them. They are boring and uninteresting. Well, in that case, we need to transform this village, give it new colors. Yes, George, that's just a great idea. Let's help these residents renovate their homes. And at the same time, we can evaluate our building skills. This is going to be really great. So, well, let's start the residents. Dear Remodeling, it's good that they are all gone from here. They will not get in the way so that I can start quietly here to make new houses. It's time to update this rustic style. It's all dull and uninteresting. These houses look, why are they made of brownstone? It's not pretty at all. But this white quartz is a really fresh color and it fills even a cheerful mood. Even the house is visually more spacious. Okay, but I think I'm gonna replace all this wood with cobblestones and planks because those are readily available materials. And in general, I think the residents, if they need all of a sudden cobblestone, they can chip it off of the house. It gives additional protection even to the house and no one will be able to get into it from outside. Like these steps here, they don't belong here at all. And if you add some cobblestones here, it would look really good. I think you could also add some earth on top for beauty. Why did they make everything here out of acacia? It's a rather ugly tree. It's kind of gray. Yes, the orange color is very cheerful, but it doesn't match these logs at all. But birch is a perfect material for building a house, or it has very nice neat boards and very beautiful logs. They have a nice pattern of these black dots painted on them, and it looks very funny from the outside. So I'm almost done with one cabin. So you can add a little dirt here, it's a beautiful house. So I think this is where the head of the village will live. Let's see how he looks from the outside, it's quite impressive. Yes, indeed, this is where the most important resident will live. Okay, but now let's go improve the next two houses I have left, so we can come up with something for this house. Well, for starters, we're going to remove this thing here, and we're going to put dirt here. It's going to be an extra hidden passageway, so that the main door is not immediately visible. Okay, well, the first house is almost complete. The most important thing is, what does this house need? Of course, the most important thing is a door. So I think there is something I can do to improve this bridge. If you add, for example, here logs on the sides, it will already look more beautiful than just ordinary boards. I think it will be possible to add a fence on top so that no one accidentally falls into this river and it will be cool. So these planks have to be broken here no way. I'll put regular ones here. These are oak planks right here. Maybe we could do something on the sides here, like add some more boards or cobblestones. Yes, 
I think the residents will definitely need these resources. If anything, they can collect them directly from their houses. It's convenient enough, and you don't even have to go to the mine at all and spend time on it. Everything is literally at your fingertips. So it also gives you extra protection for the shelter. They should just be grateful to me for ideas like that. So like I said, you need to replace all those logs with birch. They look nice enough to be replaced. And you should definitely replace that ugly door, but that's in the future. For now, we need to deal with us, with the interior here. I guess we don't need the steps in the last one anymore. I'll put up new ones made of birch boards. They look very nice. So niche, we should definitely replace all these fences because they look very ugly. So let's add some more boards up here on top to cover this dirt and protect this house. What if somebody wants to drop a missile or a bomb down here and it hits here? This house would be worthless. It's got 20 layers of defense that no bomb could ever penetrate in a lifetime. It's the safest shelter you could build here. And perhaps we can start to finalize and build the last cabin here. Perhaps we could replace the fence here with, this one here is a mossy cobblestone. In general, we can already finish our construction. So George, we finally built the houses, so let's finally take a look at them. I just can't wait to see them, and more importantly, for the residents to see them. Wow, George, that's a beautiful well you've made, but it's a little mossy and it could get down there, but all in all, it's okay. Now, what's that passage? It's weird, it's like an entrance, but there's nothing there. How do you even get into this building? George, have you thought this through? I think I see doors and passageways. Yes, indeed, you have barricaded this house very well. No one can get in here. You haven't seen the other houses yet. Just look here, there's this secret passage. But it's actually a little bit closed. But it's a trick. There's supposed to be a trap. And there's nothing wrong with the normal passage. You can always enter safely. And finally, I want to show you the most beautiful house. This is my last house in the collection, the house of the main resident in this village. Here the most important person. So, George, well, now we're going to look at my village. We've got a little bit of crops here, so the villagers can pick something here, plant it themselves as they see fit, and then we'll go on. Here we finally have these small houses. They are made entirely of birch and quartz so they look very beautiful. The most important thing is that birch and for light wood, and this color raises the mood and makes many people think about different things. So this is what I understand to be a small guest house, and you've also made a bridge here. Wow, it's so wide, it'll be really comfortable for everyone to walk across. So that makes it the last house. Well, let's see, it looks very unusual. What big steps it has here. There is so much light from the house itself. I really like it a lot. It looks very lively, I would say. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed how we rebuilt this village. Write in the comments who got the best. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more to do and adventures to be had by George and we hope you'll stay tuned. Yes, guys, please write in the comments that I got the best houses to finally beat Peppa. Well, thank you so much for watching us all goodbye and have a good time. See you soon. Hi, everyone. Today we're going to play a game of Minecraft. Family, are you ready? Hey, hey, of course I am. Every time I dive into this wonderful world, it brings a lot of joy. Hello, my lovelies. We all really enjoy playing Minecraft. Let's get started. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to create a world for us. World name is Peppa and Game Mode Survival. We have already played hardcore. Today we will take a little break from this atmosphere. Creating... I created the world. You can come in now. I'm in. Wow, not a bad spawn to start with. Right away I see a tree and a mountain where I can mine my first stone. Nice. I'm here. My spawn is great too. There are lots of trees, several biomes. Let's start our survival. And I need some wood to start with, of course. <laughs> so I made myself a crafting table. Now I'm going to make a wooden pickaxe to get my first stone. What are your plans for this world, family? Enjoying the world, of course. But seriously, I'll do the usual. Traveling the world and creating my own buildings. That's what Minecraft is all about. 
Well said, Daddy. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, I see. I found some huge mushrooms in this world. We've seen these before. But now I can see them properly. They're really big. Wow. Really? I take it this is very rare in Minecraft. We've only seen them once, even though we've been playing a lot. I wonder how many hours we've been playing Minecraft. I think over 24 hours, maybe more. The very first time we played, we managed to defeat a dragon. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> time flies by in Minecraft. I wouldn't be surprised if we've already played for over 100 hours. I'll have to find the stats somewhere. I've seen that statistic somewhere, but I forget where. Well, it doesn't matter. I made myself some stone tools and now I'm going to walk around a bit to see what's interesting. I dug a little bit of earth under me and found coal right away. What luck! This survival will be special. Nice! How many diamonds you can miss just walking around the mine, but they are always somewhere under your feet. You just need to dig a little bit under yourself. The idea is interesting, and it is true that there are so many resources under our feet, but we do not see them. What we do see is what I just found, a broken portal with a chest. In it I found myself a gold armor and a lot of other stuff, I just don't understand why I need it. Maybe for alchemy. Yes, there are various things of gold in those chests and some of them can only be found in hell. I'm currently harvesting mushrooms to make a delicious soup out of them, by the way. It's a perfect way for sustenance. You've had great luck with the spawn. Finding food immediately is one of the first rules for successful survival. Finding mushrooms or a village with plants makes life a lot easier. Wow, after coal, now I've mined iron. Minecraft just wants us to keep playing this wonderful game. Find iron like that. I'd be jumping for joy. Well done, mummy. Ouch! I found those mushrooms too, but I'm not interested in them yet. I have a full hunger scale. I think now is the time to get as much wood as possible for my first house. I think I should get some wood too, but for now, I want to make lots of soup to eat. To do that, I need to harvest another big mushroom and I'll have enough mushrooms for that. <laughs> Peppa, you and George are in the same room, aren't you? Can you tell me what he's doing? I'm very interested to know what George is working on. <laughs> I looked it up. George wants to build himself a house out of stone. But that would take a lot of stone, so he's mining a lot of it now. We'll see what he's got. Oh, wow, that's a wonderful idea. Let's see how George handles it. George is sure to pull it off. Remember how George jumped into a cave with a bunch of zombies and skeletons and dealt with all of them in a couple of seconds with a wooden axe and a shield? George has a talent for playing games. Oh, yeah, I remember it perfectly. And after George defeated everyone and came to our house, he was accidentally blown up by a creeper right outside the house. I haven't laughed like that in a long time, I don't forget. <laughs> you never know what George will do. He can easily handle a horde of zombies, or he can accidentally fall from a height clumsily jumped. But not just fall, but fell right into a single block of water, which I've stopped counting as George's skillful handling of problems. George is a genius. <laughs> It's about time I started thinking about how and where I'm going to build my house. Maybe somewhere here by the sea? It is beautiful here, and there is a forest where I can cut a lot of wood to build a house. I've already found a place to build a house. Right on the spawn. I like it here. It's got everything I need. Wood, water, the natural beauty of the cubes. I'll start building slowly. Already? I'm just getting my place ready. Great. Then I'll start building sooner. I still don't have enough wood. I need to get as much as I can as soon as possible. I made myself so much soup that half my inventory was filled with soup bowls. Haha, <laughs> well there's plenty of space for a tree. I can just see Peppa with pockets full of soup bowls. Ha ha ha, eat up Peppa, you're still growing up. Ha 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 ha, it's true, you have to eat a lot and eat good. I had a very tasty dinner tonight, thanks mommy. So I'm going to start building my house out of wood. A regular little cozy house for me. How's George doing? Any success building a house out of stone? Just a second, let me take a look. <laughs> George has already melted down a lot of stone and made bricks out of them, and is building his house out of them. That's cool. 
Wow, George, you're a big one, like me. <laughs> Not bad. But making a big house out of stone would be difficult. You'd have to melt a lot of stone and it doesn't melt very fast. George made himself four furnaces, so that sped up the process. But yeah, it takes a long time to melt the stone. Daddy, Mummy, how's the build going so far? What I have left to do in the house is to build the roof and put in the windows. The house is small by my standards, but it's enough for me. Right now, I'm melting sand for glass and will be building a ladder roof at the same time. I've stocked up on plenty of wood for that, so the only thing left is to put the blocks up nicely. Wow, you are so fast. You've been building and making your own tools very quickly lately already. I'm so glad you're progressing in Minecraft. Back in the day, Mummy and I used to spend many hours playing consoles. We've been playing games for a long time. Experience can't be wasted. Oh yeah, I used to love going over to Daddy's parents' house to play. It was fun. Oh really? That's so cool. My parents are the best. I wish everyone had parents like that. <laughs> and so, I've built myself a roof. I've got the windows and the door. Time to wrap up our adventure for today. We've been playing for quite some time. I see George getting sleepy. I'm getting a little sleepy too. Okay, Papa. Come on. I'll tell you a bedtime story. Yay! Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and like. Also, don't forget to write a comment what you think about our adventures. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Bye, kids. <laughs> Everyone, today me and my brother George are going to play the wonderful game of Minecraft. <laughs> I really love playing Minecraft. I hope you enjoy watching me play it. <laughs> well, it's time to get started. Be what? Beginning my adventure. I need a tree to start with to make tools. The first tree will help me make a wooden pickaxe, which is needed to get the stone. I make stone tools, they are much better than wooden ones. Done! Next to the rainforest, and what do I see? Watermelons? I really like watermelons, they are so delicious. Even though in my not that they are the best food. That's a lot of white tunnel, I lost if I eat them all at once. <laughs> well, I found Bambi. It could be used to make you a scaffolding that can help me build my house. Bambi came! I spit on so scary. Get this! It's time to get out of here. There's nothing to do with no resources. Oh, I am. Oh, no. Thank you, thank you. I'm lucky I found the village. Hopefully, I'll find something interesting. Keep fishies. I'm sorry I need a bed. Uh, hey, big guy! Uh, uh, I need you, I... Uh, Thank you! I found another cave. There should be yours in here. And here they are. This is great. What a deep and beautiful cave. I think I'll find everything I need here. I need to sleep here to wait out the night and make a respawn point in case I die here. It's done. 
I found a melted down somehow. Just don't make a mile until so I can get to the stone if possible. I also made myself a shield to help fend off the arrows of pesky skeletons. I got some more iron and I'm gonna make armor for protection. That's perfect. Going down the way to there should be diamonds here. The most useful thing of all. And here they are, but it seems I'm out of luck, they won't be many. I'll need the lapis lazuli for enchantments. They are spiders near me. There's a whole spot here, but they are not ordinary spiders. And a very dangerous one with venom. I need to be careful with them. Need a sword to quickly break the web and destroy the spawn. But where are the spiders? Why aren't there any? I can handle that one in a time. <laughs> Why, Golden Apple? Pity it's simple. I am on the four horse at the same time. Not much use, Golden Apple. Water crystals. The wagon with the chest. Got the two diamonds I needed. Now I can make a pickaxe. How lucky I am to spawn this, this time, skeleton spawner. Well, I prepared and surprised a shield with it. I will be very easy with them to deal. And they can handle each other without me. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Easy! Nothing useful. What's under there? Light it up with the blueberries I found in the chest. It's time to get out. Found everything I need. I need to find a nice place for my house. I think I'll find it too clean. If I clean this place up a little bit, it'll be just wonderful. Done! I'll just put the stuff I don't need in the chest for now.
So this is what the house looks like. It was a cute little house. Not small and not big, just right for me. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe and like. Bye bye everyone. Hello, our dear subscribers. Today we continue to play Minecraft. In the last episode, we did not have time to finish our houses. In this episode, we will definitely have time to finish them. I promise you. Hi, hi are our favorite subscribers. In this series, you will see how we will build our houses. In the last series, we prepared everything for it. Dug up resources, got food. Hello to our favorite subscribers. We will build our houses. Do not forget to write in the comments who got the best. Let's not turn this into a competition, just an amateur argument. Okay, George, what do you think about that? <laughs> All right, family, let's go into our world and then we'll decide what to do next. Everyone ready for our crazy trip? I have no patience for your answer. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Family, I have already appeared. I have already started building my house. It will be so unusual. I'm going to build it in the ground. You will just be surprised how beautiful and interesting it will be. Peppa, what's so interesting you're going to build? You said you were going to build something in the ground. You can tell me more about that? George and I are very interested. Isn't that George? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, George, thank you for wondering what I'm going to build. I found a fallen tree and I'm going to build my house in it. That is, my house will be hidden in leaves. It is so interesting. And what will you build? Well, as I said in the last series, my house will be completely of glass. It will not be very big, but very beautiful. I'm building such a house for the first time. But I think it will turn out very interesting and crazy. Well, see? George, Daddy Pig, and what are you going to build? I have unfortunately not yet found a place for my house, but I will build it in some rock. This is a very modern house. It is very comfortable. You can immediately dig up useful resources without leaving home. I think my idea is very interesting. George, what are you going to build? <laughs> Family, why is my house collapsing? Leaves fall out. Did I do something wrong? I don't like it. Peppa, you probably started it wrong, and now all the leaves will fall out. You need to find a new place to build a house. <laughs> George, stop laughing. It's not funny. Okay, then I'm going to take all my accumulated resources and go build a house somewhere else. Too bad I can't build a house here. It's very sad. I don't even know what to do. Peppa. I wish you could build a house in the place you've chosen. You'll have to spend more time building a house. Well, I'm sure the audience will appreciate it. I think they'll vote for you. By the way, what are your plans for building a new house? Dad, I'm going to build a tree house. Right now, I'm making a ladder so I can get into my house. I think it's good that I had to build a house in a new place because the tree house looks pretty and better. Wow! The tree house is quite an interesting building. I think you'll make it this time. I think you will be voted for in the comments because two times to build a house is very difficult. All right, let's daughter. You will succeed. Yes, Peppa. Dad is really right. You are a good man. I'm sure not everyone will manage to build two houses at once, but you and George are the best and brightest kids ever. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. You are the best parents in the world. I love you very much. I'm so glad I have parents who will always support me. Thank you for being. <laughs> parents, let's talk a little bit about the weather. Do you like today's weather? Can we go a little walk after the Minecraft? Because if I'm being honest, I have a headache sitting on my computer. Peppa, this is a very good idea. I like it. But what do George and Mom think about it? If they don't mind, we can actually go out. Family, listen, I don't mind. I even think it's a very good idea. I'm four, only here's where we go. I suggest you go for a walk in the park. There is very fresh air and we will not be bored. Mama Pigs, this is a pretty good idea. I'm all four. I think it's a pretty good idea. Today is pretty wonderful weather for a walk. There is not a single cloud outside. That is, it will not rain and we can walk in our favorite park. Thank you, Peppa. I'm very glad you and George liked my idea. I hope during the walk we will have a very fun time. Have some of our favorite ice cream. George, just the way you like it. <laughs> well, 
family, let's discuss our houses better. Maybe someone's home is ready, or maybe almost ready. Here's my house at the construction stage. Mama Pig, how are things with your house? Peppa, thank you for asking. I have already started building my house. Only I will probably build it for a long time, because it is made of glass, and the glass still need to melt. So it will take quite a bit of time. All right, and how is our beloved dad pigs? Mama Pig, thank you for asking. My house is almost ready. It remains to dig out a little territory and put the chests in bed. My house is already in the final stage of construction. It is just a little bit more and I will finish it. George, and how are things with your house? Did you remember to build it? I hope that means you've built it or are building it. It's just that if you haven't started building it, you've lost. But I'm sure you built it. You'll get the most beautiful one. You and the Peppa will win. Thanks, Mom. You're so thoughtful. George and I love you so much. You're the best mom ever. Thank you for being there. By the way, my house is almost ready. Now it is only necessary to find wool for the bed and you have finished your house. <laughs> Peppa, I've almost finished my house. Now I just have to wait until the glass for the roof is finished and mine will be ready. How is it going with Daddy's piggy house? Have you finished it yet? Mama Pig, we haven't talked about this for a long time. My house is almost ready too. Mom, better tell me how you feel. Maybe you don't like something in your house. Maybe you wanted to build another house. Peppa... How did you know I really wanted to build another house in the first place? I wanted to build a house in the rock at first, just like Papa Pig did. But I decided not to build a house like his, because that wouldn't be fair. I had to build a house out of glass, but I don't regret it because it turns out quite beautiful. <laughs> wow, Mom, that's pretty decent. I probably would have done the same thing in my place if George had wanted to build the house I wanted. Of course I would have let him. We're a family. And I can think of another idea. I'm not a little girl. Thank you, Peppa. I'm proud of you too that you understand my act and would do the same. You are quite clever for your age. Alright family, let's start saying goodbye to subscribers. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos in this format, do not forget to put likes. Good luck. Subscribers, thank you very much for watching this video to the end. We really like it when you watch our videos. Do not forget, please write in the comments whose house you consider the most beautiful and interesting. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye. Yes, Daddy Pig, you're right. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to please subscribe to us. We are glad that you are becoming more and more. We love every subscriber. Oh, bye. <laughs> In this video, parents, what are you gonna do? I want stone tools and already with the help of digging resources to build your house, it will be quite unusual. You will be surprised. <laughs>。All right, guys, let's get started. I suggest you rename our world and change complexity to complicated, because this will be much more interesting. What are we going to do fun today on the game? I am no longer waiting patiently to play this wonderful game. I can already imagine which house I will build. Either I will build a dugout or I will build a tree house. Right on the tree. How cool it will be to me seems. Well, let's get started. Something we long this time. So family, I came. I'll probably start digging for wood. What will you do? I appeared in some jungle. I will extract cocoa beans. It is so far the only useful thing that I see. Ooh, and I think I'll start with the cutting of a tree. It's been a long time since I've played something in a Minecraft. I've already forgotten what to do here. <laughs> All right, all right. I'll start chopping down a tree too. I need one too. 
I have to get some wood first. Then scrape the tools, get the stone, and then scrape the stone tools. I guess everyone has already started to extract a tree. Then I too will not get much. After all, it will also be useful to me. So family, how are you? Tell me quickly. <laughs> Mom, why are you so mad? We are like a family. We are one team. Just this time, everyone does everything separately. It's for experimentation. Come on, family, stop fighting. How could this ever happen to us? We are the same family. Peppa, why are you scolding your mother? Quiet! Let's be more friendly to each other. Mama Pig, how are you? Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. You probably didn't understand us. We were just talking. Okay, Mom, how are you? Peppa, thank you for asking. I already thought you had the whole thing. I'm doing great! I'm getting wood. What are you doing? Family. Well, I'm still mining for wood. Then I plan to go get some stone, because I need the stone to create new stone tools and stoves to melt the meat. <laughs> well, George's always has the most saturated answer, the simplest and most understandable. Am I right? Hey, Hacks, all jokes are fun, but we should start building houses. Well, I'm already making myself a wooden pickaxe to get a little stone and then scrubbing my stone tools. I think I will build myself a house of glass. An ordinary house only instead of walls and ceiling glass? I think it will turn out quite interesting. Wow, Mama Pig, that's a pretty good idea. I'll start crafting a pickaxe too. This is quite a useful exercise because with the pickaxe you can go to the mine and there to get a lot of useful resources. <laughs> <laughs> Parents, what are you going to do? I want stone tools and already with the help of digging resources to build your house, it will be quite unusual. You will be surprised. Peppa, thank you for asking, but I've already scraped my stone tools. I too will now earn resources and build myself a small but very not ordinary house. Thank you for asking. I'm going to dig sand, melt sand to get glass. From glass, I will build my wonderful house. What is George going to do? Maybe he also wants to build a house for himself? <laughs> well, wonderful. Let's build ourselves houses and the audience will appreciate who turned out the most beautiful and unusual house. I'm sure I'll win this time because I'm building myself a house in leaves. Like in real life. Something like a hut. Peppa, this is just great. We believe that you will have the most beautiful house. Mom and I are pig very happy for you. George, you too keep up. You must build a decent house to fight the Peppa. Okay, kids, just don't do this in a competition. We're just building houses to live in. Peppa! Daddy Piggy said it right. You don't have to turn it into a competition. You can fight and we don't have to fight. We're family. All right, kids, build. You have to surprise our viewers. Mom, Dad, how could you think that George and I would fight? We're family. We have to stick together. I would never quarrel with my brother over any game. That's absurd. How could you think that of me and George? George, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing George is taking this as a joke. I think he'd resent you if he was a little older. Let's change the subject. Better tell me how you're doing in building your houses. Well, I'm actually getting my own food now. And the place of the house I have not yet decided. I want to find some rock and live in it. I think it's pretty fun. Mom Pigs, what do you want to do? I have put the sand on the melting. Now I will build a house for myself after the sand comes up. I think this house will look quite interesting because none of us has ever built a whole house out of glass. <laughs> wow, Mom, this is a pretty interesting house. I think our viewers will definitely like it. Maybe they will like my house too. It will be quite small and the entrance will be quite strange. All right. Peppa, it's all right. You'll still have the most beautiful and interesting house. I don't doubt you. Come on, kids. Tell me something interesting. Maybe something happened recently? 
Mom, it seems like it's not bad. It's Friday. School week is over. I'm very excited. By the way, I forgot to tell you that I corrected my bad grades at school. I tried very hard to fix them. I succeeded. George, how are you? <laughs> Kids, this is all pretty good. I'm really happy for you, Peppa, that you corrected the grades at school. For this, we will go biking tonight. Family walk, I think, will be pretty fun. We can talk. We can talk about George's behavior. I won't forget either. George, why are you so upset? Dad was joking, right, Dad? Of course I was joking. I won't spoil our fun family outing. I understand everything. But George, you still have to correct your behavior. I really hope you think about it and make it right, but I'm not going to scold you. Ahaha, <laughs> uh -huh, Daddy, you're so good. He's scared. Why did you scare him, all right? It's a good thing he's funny again, because I wouldn't want to go out with him when he's not in the mood. Ahaha, uh -huh, this is all really quite fun. All right, family, let's finish. Let's finish our houses in the next episode. I think the audience will not be offended and will be happy. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like. Thank you for watching, dear subscribers. We are very glad that you like our videos. We are very happy when you subscribe to us. So don't forget to check the subscription to our channel. All bye. Subscribers, the video unfortunately ends. I am very sorry to admit it because I would like to play more. Anyway, we will meet soon anyway. Soon you will see on our channel a new series with continuation. There we will finish our houses. Don't forget to write in the comments if you want the series to come out as soon as possible. Good luck! <laughs>